Hello people, in this video we want to look at web of causation. Causation of what guys? Of the disease, right? Why does the disease happen? Web of causation. Here, let, let's look at this web in the example of a myocardial infarction. Look at the web. See here there is myocardial infarction below, right? Why is myocardial infarction happening? Because of myocardial ischemia. Why is ischemia happening? Because of the coronary occlusion. Coronary artery they mean here, right? The coronary occlusion. So the heart is not getting blood uh, properly. So there is occlusion here in the artery. So that will lead to ischemia here and that will lead to an infarct here. <coughs> now why does this occlusion happen? So here they are saying coronary atherosclerosis, increased catechol amines, thrombotic tendency, changes in the wall of arteries. These three can be the uh, cause for the occlusion. Coronary athero atherosclerosis, thrombotic tendency, Changes in the wall of arteries. Now let us look at, the, let's just go backwards. Now why is there atherosclerosis? Because of hyperlipidemia, because of obesity, abundance of food. So people are eating so much. Lifestyle. So basically lifestyle. People are eating so much. They have no physical exercise, obesity, hyperlipidemia, atherosclerosis. Okay. So one web they found here. The next one is smoking. Because of smoking, what is happening? Increased catechol amines, thrombotic tendencies, coronary occlusion. Smoke, smoke, smoke. Coronary occlusion. Thrombotic tendency the blood will have because of increased catechol amines <clears throat> and then coronary occlusion. Now let us go here. Stress. Stress will lead to what? Emotional disturbance. Emotional disturbance will lead to hypertension. Hypertension will lead to changes in the wall of the arteries. It should be arterio, um, something to do with arteries. Okay. That will lead to coronary occlusion. Okay. Here also they are saying hypertension can come because of age also. So a hypertension changes in the wall of arteries. Obesity can lead to hypertension. So you can understand how it is being linked everything. This is the web of causation. So what are we looking at? Did you forget that? We are looking at web of causation of disease. Here we took example of myocardial infarction. So we have looked at an example. Let us look at actually what it is. This was suggested by this person McMohan and Pug in their book. So two people are there actually on one photo only they have put. So they have mentioned this in a book called Epidemiology principles and methods, they have mentioned something called as a web of causation. So they are saying this model is suited for chronic diseases, right? Interaction of mu multiple factors, chronic disease, interaction of multiple factors you can know. Even if you know the disease causing agent, I think it should be fine. What do you say? Web of causation considers all predisposing factors of any type, their complex interrelationship like obesity leading to hypertension, etc. Right? Uh, they have shown example of myocardial infarction. So what does it show? Predisposing factors of any type, their complex interrelationships, all these are there in the web of causation. The basic tenet of epidemiology is to study the cluster of cause, causes and combinations of effects, how they relate to each other, how these causes, effects relate to each other. Same thing they are saying, complex interrelationship, they are saying again and again in the same way. It can be visualized that a causal web, okay, uh, so you can visualize it like a web. So this web will help you in deciding the intervention, isn't it? So basically just removal of one link or chain may be sufficient to control the disease. That's good, right? You don't have to eliminate all the links. But at least one link if you eliminate it may go off the disease. Okay. So multiple factors will lead to the disease. But if you know the relative risk of each factor. So if smoking is having a relative risk which is higher, then you can control that, right? So that is good. So that's all guys in this video on uh, web of causation. Hope you understood what the uh, web of causation is with the example of myocardial infarction. It was given by these people, McMohan and Pug in their book, Epidemiological Principle and Methods. So basically you can know the predisposing factors, the interactions between them, the interactions of the, uh, one word was there here, wait. The effects, the combination of effects also you can visualize and then you can decide the intervention and if there are multiple factors you can check the relative risk of each of these and decide which one is the highest risk all that you can decide. Even if you remove one link you may be able to control the disease. So this web of causation will help you in epidemiology. Right? See you in the next video guys. Bye bye. So just remember to draw this as an example, myocardial infarction, myocardial ischemia, coronary occlusion because of atherosclerosis, atherosclerosis because of thrombolyte, thrombotic tendency because of increased catechol, that means because of smoking, 
changes in the wall of arteries because of hypertension which could be because of stress emotional disturbance or because of age here lifestyle they are blaming abundance of food lack of physical exercise leading to obesity will lead to hyperlipidemia will lead to atherosclerosis obesity can also lead to hypertension so this is your web of causation for myocardial infarction